So another meme to try your hand at is the Unravel Tokyo Ghoul meme, where the deepfake is an image of a person who looks like they're singing the song Unravel, which is the opening song from the anime series Tokyo Ghoul. And in the song, the main character is singing about trying to find his place in two different worlds. So I'll show you how to make the deepfake and this meme step by step in this tutorial. You don't need prior coding experience to make it, but we are going to be using a Python code script that can be run in the browser of your computer or your phone. And we're also going to be using Kapwing, which is our free online editor to prepare the files and also finish them up uh, by putting them into a template later on. If you've made the Bakumatai Dame Dane meme, a lot of these steps will be familiar to you, so hopefully that helps speed up the process. And to get started, just click the first link in the description below. Make sure you sign into your Kapwing account so no watermark is added to your video at the end and that's completely free to do. But yeah, I'll meet you there and let's get started. Okay, so to make the Unravel Tokyo Ghoul meme slash deepfake, it's basically the same steps that you're going to go through as the Bakumatai Dame Dane one. Uh, so if you've done that one, a lot of this will be familiar. Um, and if you haven't done that one, then I'll explain it step by step. So the first thing you're going to want to do is to find your target image. So this is the image that you're going to turn into the deepfake. So you have to resize that image to 256 by 256 pixels in dimension, otherwise the script won't work later on. So to do this, you can just go to Kapwing and you can find all the links for all the steps of this tutorial in the description. Um, so yeah, click the link that goes to Kapwing in the first step. Um, and you'll be taken to our studio, which is basically just a video editor, and you can do uh, edits to images and also GIFs. And if you already have a file that you want to, like a photo you want to use, you can just upload it here. Um, but you can also start with a blank canvas and just search in the images tab, and it like sources from Google Images. Um, today I'm going to just use a stock photo I found, so I'm going to upload it um, from my desktop. So for this script, for the script later on, uh, it's basically trained on a bunch of photos of different people's faces. And that's how it knows where in your photo it'll find like the eyes and the mouth to make them move. So if you can find photos that have the person in the center facing the camera with like kind of a neutral expression, then that will look more um, like it's actually like they're actually singing the song when you make the deep fake later um, but you can use whatever photo you want and just test it out see how it goes um, but yeah you need to resize this photo to those dimensions I would first suggest cropping it um, if it hasn't already been like centered on the face itself and yeah I think this is a good distance Okay. To resize the canvas or the photo, you can just click the canvas outside here and then click custom size and just type 256 by 256. Done. Cool. So it'll be a square. And once that photo is resized, you can just click export image and it'll grab that photo for you. You can just click download and it'll save the photo to your files on your computer or your device, whatever you're using. Then the second step is to create this Google Drive folder called first order motion first dash order dash motion dash model and it has to be those exact words uh, in the fo folder. So you have to do this in your main drive. So it has to say my drive and then point to for first dash that whole sequence of characters. So in this drive, you're going to be putting four files. So I have them listed all here and they're all in the description below with links. Um, there's two tar files that will show up in, uh, that look like this. So these, there are two links and you're, there, you, there will be a button that just says download, just download it. Like don't extract it or export it or whatever. There's like some other people tried this and it wasn't working. So just, just download the files to your, to your device. And I know they're large and they will take a long time to download. So I guess that's just how. The cookie crumbles but uh yeah those two tar files and then this template video 
um, of someone singing the song and it has no audio because when I found when I tried using a version with audio in the script it didn't work so it has no audio it's already resized to the right dimensions so just just download this one and it'll be easier than like trying to use your own um, and then the last one is your target image that you just downloaded so go to your folder I already downloaded and uploaded those two tar files and then I also uploaded uploaded the um, the driving video, the the template video. So I'm just gonna finish uploading my image. And another important point is that you have to name these the video and the image specific things. So the video you have to name exactly 04.mp4. And then for the photo, you need to name it. 02.png. Once you have those files uploaded, um, another note on uploading, sometimes it takes a few moments for the script to register that you uploaded the right files. So if you're running into errors later about your your images or your your videos from the drive, just like run the script multiple times or run the code block multiple times. So I have my, my files uploaded um, back to the instructions. So yeah, this is the Python code script and I found this from the YouTube channel Homemade Memes, so thank you to them. Another note on what Google account you're using. So you can run this script in a different Google account than the folder is in. You just connect your drives later. But yeah, this is the script. It's You don't need to have like coding experience to use it at all. You just press these play buttons on the blocks to run it. Um, but the first thing you're going to want to do here is copy and paste this line to the start of that script. And this line is basically installing uh, Python's version of YAML, which helps like decode things later on um, and process like images and videos. Uh, and then so once you've copy and pasted that into the script, just press the first code block play button and click run anyway. And so when it's like turning like this, that means it's running the, the, the code block and it's loading. If you, if it turns red, that's when it's run into an error. So only if it turns red, that's when there's an error. Sometimes it'll have other messages down below here, but if it's not red, then you're fine. Just like keep going. Um, if it is red at any point, so I know in the last video, a lot of people were finding like, oh, I ran into an error, like it turned red. If you're gonna like put the error message in your comment, if you're going to comment and try and get help, because if you just say, I got an error, like no one knows what your, what the error is and no one can help you. So just a note for like, if you're gonna comment later, please give us the error message. Exactly. Cool, so this block is done. Don't forget to run this one too. I think some people were forgetting to run this one. So just click play and that one should be pretty simple. And then for this step, you're basically connecting your drive folder with those images we installed into the folder to this script. So click the play button first, then it'll give you this box for the authorization code. So op like click this link here and it's just gonna make you choose a Google account to connect. So choose the account that you put the folder in. And then click allow. And then copy and paste this code. So I, if you click that button on the side with the like two squares, it just highlights it, okay? So I ran into this, I was making this mistake a bunch of times. Make sure you're actually like copying this code and saying command C or control C because if you're just highlighting it, you're <laughs> that's, that's not copying it and go back to the script and then just paste it into that box and hit enter. So if you if this step takes like 20 years and it's just loading forever, you probably didn't copy the code. That happened to me. Um, and then yeah, for reference, this folder, this drive folder is just all the images that are uh, used to train the model on so you can see it's a bunch of different faces and some of them are like animated some of them are real and some of them are videos too but after that step 
you'll go to the load driving video and source image. So this one is where a lot of er people have been finding errors um, when they run it. So just be patient with this one. This one also will take a, a little bit of time to load, but just start off clicking the play button. Okay, so that code block has finished loading. You can see that it pulls up the template video and then our uh, target image. They're both the same dimensions in that square dimension as we specified earlier. Um, yeah, so it's just giving you a preview before it actually makes the deep fake. So then just go to the next code block and run that one. And this one might take a few minutes too. Create a model and load checkpoints is now finished loading and it won't print anything out. So you just have to wait for it and s just keep an eye on it. Then this, this is the last code block you're gonna run and just go ahead and click play. And you'll have, there'll be a loading bar which is convenient to see where your progress is. All right, so the perform image animation code block has finished loading and you can see that this is the image on that we originally put in. This is the template video and it's made that image have the motion of the video. So that looks pretty good to me. Uh, looks like actually like he's singing it. Um, to save the video, this the video just of the, the one you want, the deepfake, just go over here, click files, and then there might be a generated.mp4 there. If there is, just double click that and it should download that video. If you don't see that generated.mp4 file, then don't worry, it's probably somewhere else in these folders, um, which is what we found with the last video. Um, so it might be in first order model, the folder. So just go in there and see if there's any other generated.mp4 files. Um, and there might, the, the more times you run this, the more times there will be like folders within folders. So if you don't find it here, then keep looking through the different folders for any MP4 files. And if you find them, just double click them and it'll download too. Um, cool, so now that I've downloaded that MP4, we can see we click it, it's the same one. Oh yeah, this is another thing. If this, if you open it, even if it shows the preview of the one you want and you open it and it's not actually that, it's like a previous one you made, then also do the thing where you like look through the files uh, because it will be there somewhere. But yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm gonna, the next step is you need to speed up the video by 2.4x. So for some reason the video is, when it's created, it's like slowed down to get the motion of the video. Um, but we need to speed it up now. And Kapwing has uh, in Kapwing, you can speed up videos, but currently we can only do it by increments, um, and we're working on that. So keep stay tuned. Like Kapwing will have better speed functionality soon. Um, but for this video right now, we're going to just use um, this speeding up video changer. So the link is in the description. This one's pretty simple. So you just drag your file or open your file here. Um, and then click upload video. And yeah, 2.4 is the exact speed you need it because otherwise it won't line up with the, the audio, the song later. Um, but yeah, down here you just write 2.4 and then change video speed. And it should be quite pretty quick. Then just click save and it'll download the new version. And you're almost there. The last step is to go to this template that we made. So this one has the uh, the Tokyo, the Unravel song already in the template. So all you have to do is upload your deep fake that you made. Um, so just click make it and upload. So you can just drag and drop your files um, or upload, click upload. So I'm just gonna drag the sped up version into here and delete the old one and then yeah, when we go into add audio, you can see that there's an audio file already here. If we play it, we can hear what it sounds like. Okay, so I think you get the point. 
Um, you can also make other edits in here. You can add text or other images or GIFs. Um, but if you just want to have the deep fake with the song, all I have to do now is just click export video. So our video is done processing. This is the final product and you can hear the song over it. Um, but it's literally just the video I just played a moment ago. So to save this video now, you can just click download on the side here and it'll download that file to your device. You can always go back in and edit it or make a copy. And if you copy the link to this and just like copy that and share it with people, it'll actually take them right to this video, this page here. So they can view it and also make their own copies. Um, and then you can also just share it straight to social media. But that is it for the video, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more content creation tips and tricks. I'm going to pin a comment to the top of the comments below with common uh, errors and like how to troubleshoot them. So please, please, please read that before you comment with an error. Um, but if you don't see the, your, the error you're running into in that comment thread, then uh, please like copy and paste the error message you're seeing. Otherwise, it's really hard for anyone to help you. But that is it, and we'll see you in the next video.